Hi friends, Naji here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So we are continuing a discussion with land graph and in this video we will be discussing on tool node. In our last video we have discussed about tools and um, we discussed how can we create a tool, how can we bind a tool with a model and how can we, we also we discussed about a, uh, the execution of our tools, right? We have done a sample calculator. Okay, so in this video we will be discussing on tool node and we will see more about tool nodes. Okay, so what is a tool node? So it's actually bridges graph based AI workflows with external tool calls. It actually orchestrates the uh, tool calls in land graph based architecture. Okay, so uh, we will see, um, uh, we will try to create a sample calculator and before that um, I will just go through uh, the tool execute the basic tool execution that we have done in our last video okay so in our last video what we have done we have created a tool okay so we created a tool using at the rate tool decorator then we created a multiply function and this function is bind to a model okay then then whenever whenever we are invoking the model multiply 10 and 20 okay the the result the model will identify that okay we have to call this tool right but the model itself is not executing the the tools okay instead of that if you look on the result dot tool call it will give us a set of tools that has to be executed okay and what we have done we took these tool calls and we executed the tool in the in the order that is llm has mentioned then we got the result Okay, so this is how uh, this is how it's it's done in our last video. Okay, so when we come to the tool node, let me go back to the uh, uh, my PowerPoint. Okay, so when we come to the tool node, what is actually happening is that this is the um, land graph that we are going to build. So we will have an agent. Okay, and the from the user, the agent will get an input. Okay, then conditionally we will loop through this particular tool function okay tool node function so whenever we are checking that okay some input is coming then agent uh, it will invoke the agent okay then conditionally we will check that if it has a tool calls is available okay if the message contain the tool calls which means we have to execute the tools so the execution will be done by the tool node okay then this this process will happen until it, it, it executed and their tools so whenever the agent response with in the agent uh, message output then when there is no tool calls is there then it will go to the end okay so this is similar to what we have done here in our previous lecture okay so see what we have done here here we are actually loop through all the tool calls okay and once the tool call is done we will get the final output okay so when we come to here tool node instead of executing that is manually we are checking it conditionally and we are checking that ensuring that all tool calls are done then once it is done it will go to the end okay so uh, when i we can we can start writing the code then you will get more clarity on this problem okay so i have created a notebook so here you can see um, tool is imported and this is the llm calculator tool okay so it is just a simple calculator i got it from the land graph tutorial itself and here what we are doing is that we are doing uh, add function subtract function and the multiply functions and the divide function okay this is um, what we are doing and it is returning operations num uh, num1 num2 and the result also returned okay so we will we will add like uh, we will create the land graph and uh, we'll see how can we implement the tool node okay so for that let me uh, import a few things okay from land graph also we need to import we need to import uh, state graph and message graph Remember message state and start and end. Okay. Now, what we can do? I have a land graph. From the pre-built, we can import the tool node. Okay. The uh, the tool is we already we have implemented this. Okay. Now we can start building the graph. 
okay so before that uh, let me create a open a model i can import chat open AI. here i can have a model i'm going to use uh, model as gpt for all Now let me define some tools here. Okay, so our tool name is LLM Calculator Tool. Okay. Now we can bind this to our tool node. Okay, our tool node. Let me pass the tools to our tool node. Also, we can bind our model with the tools. So model you are also aware of the tools. Okay, here model dot bind tools. Let me pass the tools here. Okay, so we have uh, done with the uh, tool binding. Now we need to define two functions. Okay, so for that let me define a um, call mode. Call model. This will have the state message state here. It will take a message from the state message messages okay now we will have a response the response will be model dot with the tools and I can invoke the message okay so whenever we have a message our model will execute and it will invoke it now i can return the message here okay so we are sending back to the response now we need to create a conditional node that is should continue this also will accept a message state And it will take a message. Okay, it will take the message. And what it does is, if it will take the last message from you. Okay, it will take the last message. And what it what it does is, it will check this last message containing the tool call. Okay, it will check this containing tool calls. Okay, if it is tool calls. It will go to the tools node okay otherwise it will return to the end okay. so this is what I have discussed okay I have explained in our introductory video we will have a call node is there the call node will call the tools okay it will invoke the tools invoke the message okay and it will return the response and we will we will have another function that is should continue the should continue will check okay the messages that we we returned from the call model okay call model has any tool calls so if it is tool calls is there it will call the tool node otherwise it will go to the end okay now now we can start building the nodes so the necessary functions are ready now we can create the workflows okay so i can have a workflow let me create a state graph and this will have a message state can have a workflows dot add can add a node so first node will be agent this will go to the call model okay the second node I am going to add is tools this will trigger our tool node okay so we already defined this tool node the tool node is the object of tool node with which contain the the tools that we have this we have defined okay so nodes are there now we can define the edges so here we have the edge so first is start and this will go to the agent then we need to have a conditional edge okay so in the conditional edge first from agent it will call the should continue 
this will go to tools or this will go to the end then I can add a edge from the tools this will go to the agent okay so this loop will continue okay so execution is done now I can compile it workflow dot compile okay the compilation is done now we can see the graph how the graph is looks like okay for that we can have uh, from ipython dot display we can import image and we can go to display I can display the image like image of or get this graph okay dot dot magnetic png okay so let me execute it okay so so this is uh, what exactly we need so we will have a start the agent will be here the agent will call the tool tool will call the agent until all the tool call is done it will go to the end okay so so uh, so we have done with the um, the lang graph building now we can start executing it okay so let me define my input so i can set the messages Here I am saying I am a human message. To a man, human spelling is correct. Let me. I can say that what is the what is four plus three. Okay, so this is my input. Okay, and my result is I am going to invoke app. I can say that app dot invoke. I can pass the input input is equal to input so this will first invoke the agent okay then it will check that okay any tool call is there then it will call the tool then again it will go to the agent and finally we will have the result so we can see that let me execute it so the execution is done now let me print the result here see if you look on the result we can see that first message is what is 4 plus 3 okay so that is what we have we have actually passed then we can see that a message content okay the content is empty but it has a tool call is there so if you go uh, you can see that we have a tool call is there then it will call the tool message the tool message will execute it okay it will say that okay uh, the result is 7 so once the uh, tool message is done it will again pass to the AA message the AA message will articulate it so it says that okay result of 4 plus 3 is 7 okay so to see the uh, final result what I can do I can take only the last message okay I can take uh, from the messages I can take last message dot content okay so here we can see that this is good right 4 plus 3 is 7 now we can see how can we stream the data okay for that what I can do um, I can do a output in we can call a app dot stream I can pass the input as a input now let me print the output okay so the execution is progress see it is streaming we can see that how the stream is working right here we can see first it is calling the agent okay agent has a tool call is there then it is calling the tool then finally it go back to the agent and we are getting the result as 7 okay so to make it um, a little bit more organized what let me make a small change here so for that what I can do we can have output in uh, app dot stream here we can have input is equal to input okay now here what I am checking if agent in output I am checking this is from the agent okay then here I can see that answer is can take a answer as a uh, 
Now to get the answer, what I can do, I can take a agent message. Okay, the agent message will be output. You can see that agent and it has a message, right? Messages. Then I need to take the zeroth one. Now the agent message dot content will be the result. Okay, so let me try to execute this and uh, maybe let me say that answer is equal to none initially so this will execution will be in progress i can do a print here i can see answer is answer okay so i got the final answer so let me add some more things with this okay i can to make it a little bit more um information we can check okay if it is going to the tools in the output i can take a tool message here this will be output dot tools messages of zero Here also I can do some print also okay so let me add some uh, tool message here just just for the debugging purpose okay I'm just doing tool message okay so the execution is progress so we can see the tool message here so uh, I can print the agent message also here. Print agent message. Here I can pass the agent message. Okay. So the execution is in progress. We can see that agent message. The first agent message is containing the tool calls. Then it will call the tool message. We are getting the tool message as a result. Then we are getting the final result. Okay. So this is working perfectly fine okay now we can add or we can modify a little bit okay so let me say that what is 3 plus 3 okay then I can add one more thing and into 2 so we'll see what is the output now we are executing this we can see the uh, we can see the result okay To calculate 4 plus 3, we can start by adding the two numbers inside the parenthesis and okay, it is not working as expected. Uh, okay, so I just modified it. I just need to calculate, um, calculate 4 plus 3 into 3. So this is my first message. Then I am getting a tool calls. Here we can see the tool calls will be there. So one is the operation add and other operation is the, if you go there, we can see that another operation also as multiply. Okay. So, so we will have a two tool calls will be there then it is actually doing the uh, tool message add okay here we can see the tool message then we will have a a message will be there then it will also have a tool message okay I mean tool call then it will again call the tool message so we will have a multiple will be there finally we will have a result that is 40 okay so here we can see the 40 okay now let me execute this streaming part also here also we can see the same result okay here also we can see same result and the result is 40 uh, now maybe we can run the entire log also see here also we can see the 40 so in this way we can easily do the tool node execution using a tool node pre i mean pre build command that is called the tool node okay so i will upload this uh, this uh, notebook and you guys can download and you guys can try it out and please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye